Hey guys, this is Tutorials Master, and um, I'm making a lot of tutorials today. This is my third one today. Um, now this is not really a tutorial. This is just kind of a, a update and uh, some program suggestions for su my subject today. So, my subject today is um, not really it's not really a subject, but I have. Um, in a couple days, probably maybe a week, maybe more, I'm going to have a iTunes podcast. Um, I know you're probably thinking, "Oh, you nerd, you figured out how to make an iTunes podcast." Well, um, no. I uh, well, uh, yes, I am a nerd, but um, I do not know how to read code, so don't ask me about that. I know a couple things about HTML, but not XML. All I use is a program to for my iTunes podcast. So, um, I'm going to go over some of the programs and um, how some of the stuff you do. So, a bunch of programs. Um, there's a bunch out there. I only, I don't have much um, downloaded. I just have demos. But I'm going to buy a program, Feed for All. Um, I don't know if you've got heard of that. I have the demo version right now. Feed for All. It makes a XML um, file. And you have to... Uh, host it on a website, and then you load the XML with to iTunes, and um, then in about two days they'll give you and send you an email, and it tells you if your podcast is accepted. And um, so Feed for All is good, Feed Editor it's good, it's and um, Podcast Wizard it's pretty good, and Podcast Wizard and Feed Editor are made by the same people. They're made by Extra Labs, I think they're called. Yeah, Extra Labs, and uh, yeah. So uh, that's it. I'll show you uh, Feed for All, um, because that's what I used. That's what I'm going to use to make mine. I have the 30-day evaluation version, but I'm gonna buy it. It's just fifty dollars, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, so. Yeah. So um you just for what you do is when you open it you go to feed wizard which is the easiest thing to do. And you go um if you want to make a standard RSS feed for like hosting um software you made to download, that's what you can do. A standard podcast for any website and an iTunes podcast. And I use iTunes podcast cuz that's what I'm going to use. You just name a title um, for your podcast, and you know you get the idea. So feed for all, um, feed for all is a good choice. Um, another one is feed editor, which is I'm pretty sure it's pretty similar with feed for all. Yeah, it looks pretty similar. Um, it's got a wizard too, so um, you go to feed wizard, pretty much the same thing, pretty similar. And there's another one, podcast wizard, and one I think's different. This might be for an audio podcast. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this is basically just a wizard. It's not a program. It's just a wizard and stuff. So, I'm pretty sure this is for video podcast and audio podcasts. So, it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah. Um, now, the ch probably the cheapest one I think is the podcast wizard. I think that's like 20 bucks. I'm not sure. But, yeah. And feed editor is more, and feed for all is, I think, the most expensive out of those three. But I'm going to get feed for all because I want uh, a good program that doesn't screw up. And um, I've already tested a, uh, a podcast and put it to iTunes, and it worked. But, yeah. This is just kind of a personal update. And so I'm going to have a podcast out soon on iTunes. And, um,. I'm going to have a tutorial out for step by step on how to do podcasting and stuff. So, uh yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Oh, and if you uh are looking for um a more advanced way to use feed for all 
and compressing stuff for the video for the web and stuff I would I would I would check out Arn Rabinowitz uh his training DVD um it's called I'm pretty sure it's called Internet Killed the Video Star it's about compressing and uh other stuff so I have that um but you know it's pretty good that's where I um, found out about Feed for All. It's pretty, pretty good program, and he's a pretty cool guy. I've learned a lot from him. So anyway, uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace.